Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus CaCl2, sodium hydroxide plus calcium chloride. And the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have one OH here, one of these hydroxide ions here, and two here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium hydroxide. That balances the hydroxides, but now I have two sodiums. Put a two in front of the sodium chloride, two of these chlorines here, two here, that's good, calcium, calcium. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can balance the net ionic equation. And we do that by writing the states for each substance. That'll look like this. Compounds with sodium in them, they are very soluble. General compounds with the chloride ion, also soluble. So all of these compounds are soluble. That's why we have the AQ. Calcium hydroxide, just like sodium hydroxide, these are considered strong bases. So for strong bases, we also split that apart into its ions. We consider it to be a strong electrolyte. So everything is soluble. Everything is aqueous. And that means that there's no reaction. The ions that we start with, we'll have them dissolved when we finish. Nothing will change. It's helpful to split the strong electrolytes into ions to see what we mean by that. So this is the complete ionic equation where we split up all of the strong electrolytes, which is everything here. You'll notice in the reactants on the top, products on the bottom, we have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Two hydroxide ions, the calcium ion in the reactants and in the products, and then two chloride ions as well. Everything crosses out. That means there's no reaction. All of these, we start with all of these ions and we end with the same ones. The order is different in the equation, but it's the exact same thing. So in answer to our question, writing the net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide and calcium chloride, there is no reaction because everything is soluble, and that means that everything will be spectatorized. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for NaOH plus CaCl2, except there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.